Hi friends, I'm Chantal with Morris Microstead and today we are going to do a project trying to figure out how we're going to get vinegar out of food grade buckets. So um, on a quest to find uh, cheap food storage, uh, if you call delis, a lot of them get their pickles in five gallon food grade buckets. And um, Firehouse Subs will resell theirs for $3, but a lot of the delis will give them away for free. So we found these um, five gallon food grade buckets, and our goal is to get the pickle smell out of them. So the pickle smell is really just like the vinegar and the spices set in by fermentation. So I found a few different methods that I'm excited to try. So one of them was to set out in the hot sun which we don't have hot sun, it's the middle of winter, but it's sunny today, so and I can see, I wonder if you guys can see my dirty windows. I don't know if it's gonna show up in on film, but the steam is just like lifting off of the fence boards. So we're gonna try that method, putting it out in the sun even though it's cold and seeing if that works. Another method is to use coffee grounds. So I'm gonna use coffee grounds and like scrub it really well with the coffee grounds and like shake it up and just keep doing that. Um, over the course of a day or two. Baking soda is suggested, suggested to be used. So I'm going to try baking, oh, baking soda and vinegar is suggested to be used. I think I'm just going to do baking soda. Baking soda and vinegar to get out vinegar smell seems counterintuitive to me. And then the other is, the other method is um, hydrogen peroxide. So to put hydrogen peroxide in the bucket and shake it every like a couple hours for a day or two. So um, those are the methods that I'm, oh, and I'm also going to try, I might skip one of those methods and do the Thieves Cleaner instead. I use Young Living's Thieves Household Cleaner, um, and so I may try that. I have a feeling that that's going to work really well, so, because that's fantastic. I like that cleaner a lot. We use it for everything in our house. So, I'll report back on which, I only have four buckets to get rid of the pickle smell, so I'll report back on which method we decide to use. Where are you going? Where are you going? Um, I'll report back on which methods we decide to use out of those five. I'll be using four of those methods, um, and we'll see which method works the best. sitting in the sun I have one um, that has just baking soda in it and then this is the um, thieves and um, the thieves one the thieves household cleaner and my daughter is sleeping dang it um, I can already tell that this one I have I have high hopes that this is going to be the one that works because I as soon as I put the thieves in there I couldn't even smell it anymore I had a little bit of baking soda just so I could make like a slurry and like kind of paste it to the walls and then um purification is like an odor eliminator it's fantastic I love it we use it in the house like when we're on cleaning days to make the house smell clean um and I added 10 drops of that in there I've used purification to eliminate like the odor of cigarette smoke on um, on something before and it worked so it was like oh pinged in my head to try that and I like added some baking soda pasted it to the wall I'm gonna let that one sit I have like I can't even smell the vinegar anymore so I I think that this is gonna be the winner for sure and the last one I'm gonna do coffee grounds I'm gonna dump coffee grounds from this morning in. Spread it all over on the inside, put it on the lid, and I'll, I guess I'll just come through and agitate each of these throughout the day to see, I don't know if that will make a difference. Okay, I guess we will check back in when these are done. I don't know, I guess I'll give them 24 hours. That seems like it should be good enough, and we'll come back tomorrow and rinse them all out and see which method did the best. Oh, and so I did the sunshine method. I have one sitting outside in the frozen sun. Frozen sun, it's cold outside. 
one with just baking soda, one with baking soda, Steve's household cleaner and purification, and one with coffee grounds. And we'll report back and see which one does best. Okay guys, so I started cleaning out the buckets and I was like, friends need to be here for this. This is the bucket that had the sunshine. I marked it bucket number one. It's not bad. There's a faint smell, but hardly anything at all. It still kind of just smells like outside. Uh, it's not bad at all. The Thieves Cleaner and Purification, I'm so sorry to say, did not work out. I wish I had you guys here for when I had to clean out that bucket because it smells like hot garbage. It just smells like cinnamon pickles. Instead of like lifting the smell, they just combined. It was terrible. So, okay. So this one was just baking powder. Uh, it doesn't really seem like it did much, so I'm gonna go this out. Powder or soda? Baking soda. Well, this being just baking soda didn't do like anything. I wonder if the recommendation for like the just baking soda method is supposed to have water. I didn't see that. Um, so I didn't put water, but baking soda by itself did not do anything. This is the last one. This is um, firehouse stuff bucket has coffee grounds in it. We did, was like, let me see, sunshine, thieves, baking soda, and coffee was, they're all out of order, but it doesn't matter. Um, coffee was the worst. It smelled like garbage, still smells like pickles and coffee, and my stomach is turning because I'm standing over it. Do not recommend going the coffee route. Baking soda didn't do anything, thieves and purification, just kind of combined smells and um, the one where we left it outside in the sunshine has like such a faint smell like I'm not even confident that I'm smelling it so I would say just leaving it outside to air out in the sunshine was absolutely a success um, it's cold weather like it's like high 40 right now and like 25 overnight and I left it out for like two days so um, I think if it was hot outside and we had some hot warm sun to like bleach this up a bit I think it would probably be like a hundred percent solid good to go so I may have to wait to use these buckets until we get a little warmer weather and then just leave them outside to air out in the sunshine um, but of all the methods I didn't try out the hydrogen peroxide method I have a feeling it wouldn't do anything I think airing out is going to be the way I go um, to use these food safe buckets so if you're looking for free or cheap Food safe buckets, find yourself a deli that's giving away their buckets, or like I said, firehouse subs also for three bucks, um, and then air them out in the warm sunshine. So I hope this is helpful for you guys who are looking for cheap or free food storage. Um, I think that's everything. Yes, thank you guys for joining me. May the Lord bless and keep you. You guys have a great day. So hope this is helpful. So I hope this is helpful. So I hope this is <laughs> So I hope this what is it? Stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>